The stage has been set to wow and amaze. A concrete block the size of a car floats, hovers and spins as if by magic. It's artwork like this that helps set the New York's Armory Show apart. Art fairs are becoming very safe in what they present. You know, a lot of galleries make decisions, okay, I'm gonna sell this, this and this to that client, and it's all about that. But if you if you if you look around the crowd, these are the most it's the most interesting art crowd you can imagine. So yeah, it's great that you can like make have like really make a statement. It's New York's oldest and largest art fair. The three-day event features artists from more than 200 galleries in 30 countries, making it a must-see event for collectors. You never know who or what you might see at the Armory Show. It's telling that the place was packed even before it officially opened. Over three days, the show is expected to attract 100,000 art lovers. Nearly every medium is represented, from abstract painting to real-world photography. Artists grappling with social and political issues can be seen in the works featured in the exhibit entitled, What is to be Done? One of the things that I love about being here is that it feels like a, a real meeting point of many different cultures and visions and viewpoints, so the energy is, is really um, intoxicating. Not everything is as expensive as guideposts to a new world, the biomorphic sculpture garden of Japanese artist Yayoi Kusama, which sold for around a million dollars. You might even find a bargain amidst the up-and-comers. The show's executive director says there's something for everyone, even those who can't afford to buy. I think creating memorable experiences really defines the idea of what the show is in the minds of the public. And that's why we worked very hard this year to create works on a, on a large scale or that are so dramatic and wondrous that people can't forget them. Such attention to detail makes for maximum impact. At an art show with so much to offer, it can only be described as out of this world. Kristen Salini, Al Jazeera, New York.